Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss how we identify locators by using the playwright. Okay, so in this tutorial, I will discuss like identify locator by using text content, by using text ID, by using the placeholder, by using the title, by using the alt text, by using the label text. So these three types of element we will discuss how playwright will work and identify these element elements okay so let's discuss first locator by text content so we have one facebook application so what is the text content if i inspect the locate here just right click and inspect you will see the code section here first is the element you will see the create account create new account button so if you want to inspect that just go and click you can see here there is a a and this is anchor tag if we expand this we will see here the create new text so create new text is coming under the anchor tag a tag so your text will always come between the opening tag as well as the closing tag so like here this is html tag a this is the opening tag and here this is the closing tag so text will always come between the opening and closing locators elements if i go here you will see there is s2 s2 tag started from here and opening tag is closed here and this closing tag so between this tag we can see the text so if we are talking about the locator by text content so we always need to use the content which is visible on the page and that is coming within the opening and closing tags so let's identify this create new account button so copy the text here here and go to your script so i have already created one test here so prerequisite i have added now here i need to call the page dot locator so if we want to use the text then we can call the text method equal text equal then calling the click before that we need to also navigate the url so call the page dot navigate let's pass pass here the url copy url and pass here now let me run okay now test is running you can see it navigated url and clicked on create new account but you can see let's take another example okay where i am going to click on forget password but let's inspect this copy this text call here the page dot locator passing the text dot click here we can we need to call the text equal let me then forget password button is click this this text is coming in but button so button and this is opening and this is closing tag this is search text so let's call the page dot locator text equal to search dot click now let me run so why we are getting here for the search because there are two locators is fine that's why this is giving us the error okay using search let me if we want to click on search then we need to call the first or index number we will discuss how we pass the index number 
but let's call the first. First means it will click on the first element. Yet clicked on first search. So if we want to click second one, then this second one is last, so we can call the last. Click on search button. Okay. Now let's using the text directly we can call the page dot locator as well as we have another methods we can call the page dot get by text and then directly we can pass here the text method is get text no need to pass the text equal to directly pass the text value here let me run so we have this is the alternate of the by page dot locator page dot locator and page dot get text by text both will work same way you can see sign up page is open so we can use anyone so this is the latest method which is introduced in the playwright. So instead of direct calling the page.locator text equal to our text value, we can call page.get by text, pass the text, visible text, and then call the methods, corresponding methods. So this is in this way we can identify the locators and perform the actions or verification for the uh, locator by text. Next, we can call the page get text get by text ID test ID. Okay, so if you go here in create button. So sometime in the locators, you will see uh, as a attribute, there is available data test ID. If you have data test ID, so directly you can call the methods page.get by test ID and you can pass the test ID what is available. Okay, so pass this ID. So this is another way to identify the locators. Now what we are using, get by test ID or you know which is the test ID so for that you will see the attribute data test ID like this is the anchor tag for the create new account button okay here we have a tag in a tag we have attribute data test ID so if we have data test ID in any element so directly we can use this ID open registration form button directly we can use this and pass Page dot get test by i test get by test id methods and it will work. Yeah, working. Okay, so now let's see next one. Get place locator by placeholder. So if I go here in this. Facebook login page, you can see there is a placeholder email address or phone number and password is available. Okay, let's inspect this. We have here placeholder value, placeholder is attribute. Okay, copy that placeholder value and then go to page your script call page dot get by placeholder value just pass your placeholder value okay and this is the input field we need to fill let's fill the testing 
okay similar time we have password field there is also placeholder let's copy this and for the password we have password placeholder so just use the password now i'm going to run so this way we can also identify the locators by using the placeholder value yeah test is running you can see testing and password field in both input fields okay so if you will see any placeholder value directly you can call the page dot get by placeholder pass the placeholder value it will play right will automatically identify that element so if you are getting any placeholder value okay directly you can pass the placeholder value in the method page dot get by placeholder okay and it will automatically identify and then call the corresponding methods like we are calling here fill methods so next we have locator by title so title is also an attribute you can see the title example here in the sign up okay if i go in the sign up if i mouse move you will see sign up on sign up for facebook title is coming so directly using this title we can identify the locators in the playwright so for that we have a function page dot get by title pass the title and i am calling here click methods let me run yeah clicked right let's take another example for the title if i inspect other locator like login we have title here login login to facebook okay go to here call this let me comment first and then the rest you can see click and we are on the login page so if we can also identify the locators by using that title of the element so title is attribute in the element we can directly call this title and identify the locators so we have also alt option alt text sometime we will see the alt attribute like if i want to go in the facebook type logo you will see there is an image an image contains one alt this is facebook okay so next we need to learn how we identify the locator by using the label text okay so for the label text we have one application here heroku app where we have example of the labels like here we have label username and label password okay if i inspect this you will see the label and input box both are the same link to each other label and input both are coming under one div okay so this will work only when both are the sibling now we will identify the input locator by using the label text username okay how we do let's see so first of all let's use navigate this url let me comment this and then here we can call the page dot navigator method then you are okay then calling the page dot get by label text where we can pass the label and then fill user by testing what is the label of the user so this is label username and next we can call the label password now let me run test here you will see it will automatically fill the value into user 
as well as the password input field. So we can identify the locator by using the label. Okay, you can see here. Enter username and password. Now what we learned here in this tutorial, we learned how to identify the locator by using text content, by using the text ID, by using the placeholder, by using the title, by using the alt text, by using the labels. So these, these six approach we learn how we identify the locators in the playwright. Hope this will be helpful and you will learn here something and implement it in your project. And if you like my video, please subscribe the channel, share this video to your friend, colleague. Okay. And thanks for watching the video.